Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to turn your actual PlayStation 1 discs into ISO files so you can use the games on emulators or maybe your PS1 Classic and also so you can burn them to um, CD rewritables. So basically, just get your game. You want to go ahead and take out the disc because you will need to put the disc in your PC's um, disc drive. So I've, I'm going to be using this game right here. This is um, James Bond's Tomorrow Never Dies. So I'm just going to take this out and go and put this into my PC. So this is the software that we will need to use. We will need to use Image Burn, so I will leave a link to this in the description of this video. Um, maybe quite a lot of you watching this probably will have this installed. It's quite a common like program to have. But what you want to do is just click on download at the top. It lets you choose a download from the list. I would recommend using Mirror 7 and it will automatically start downloading. So just wait for that to finish. And now once it's downloading, you want to head over to your PC's downloads folder and just find a file in there. Okay, so here is my one and what we're going to do is just double click on the EXE and we can now go ahead and just set up Image Burn. So I actually already have this installed, but you just click next a few times, agree to some stuff, um, do next, next again, and now you can just install it. I'm just going to go on cancel because I have already got this installed. But once you have got Image Burn installed, you want to load up the program, so go to your search and just search it. So here is mine, Image Burn, let's just click on the desktop app, and now it's just going to load up. So make sure your PlayStation 1 game is in your disk port. You can find out just by going onto your file folder, going onto this PC, and you can find it's on here. So that's the name of mine. If you double click on it, you can see all of the folders and stuff which are currently on there. So this is my James Bond game. So what we're going to do, go back onto Image Burn. We want to choose this one, Create Image from Disk. What this is going to do is create our image file, um, take it off our disk, and then put it somewhere on our computer. So just click on this one. Make sure you have your DVD or CD drive selected. Now where it says destination, this is where it's going to save the file to. So make sure you just click on the small folder icon right here. Now find somewhere on your computer where you want to save it to. Make sure it's set as bin file, give it a name if you want and just click on save. So now what we need to do, where it says read speed, make sure this is set to 2.4x, make sure the last one is set to 8x and now we can simply just click on this icon. So just give this maybe about 10 minutes, maybe a bit longer, I'm not too sure. But what it's going to do is just convert your actual disk into the PlayStation 1 ISO. So it should um, output a bin and Q file for us. So let's just wait for this to complete and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so once it's done, it's going to say operation successfully completed. Um, this took exactly 8 minutes and 54 seconds, so pretty much 9 minutes. So we're just going to click on OK. We can now close out of Image Burn and we actually want to find where we saved the ISO to. So in my case it was in my PS1 ISO folder and here it is guys, it's given us our bin file and our Q file. Now this is a fully working PlayStation 1 game now, um, you can burn this to like your um, discs and then play them actually on your PS1, I have a video for that. You could use this with emulators, on your PC, on your phone, um, you can even use this on the PlayStation Classic if you have one of those. I will be showing you this running just with an emulator quickly, here's my EPSXE PlayStation 1 emulator. I've got a full setup tutorial on this, so if you want to follow it, I will link it in this video's description. But anyway, let me just show you it works. Let me just go to run ISO. Let me just find the bin file, click on open, and then the game should load up. So that is how you take your um, kind of like ISOs off your official PlayStation 1 discs. Um, as you know, MU Paradise um, got all the games removed. So yeah, this is a pretty good way of backing up your games into actual ROMs. And then you can pretty much play them on any device you want. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to check out the links in the description and I will see you guys in the next one.